to drive to Tata today. We're in the Ergshigaga Desert, which as you know us a little bit, we love. We camped in the desert. Now the plan is to uh, cross Lake Iriki and then we go through the mountains to Tata. Uh, we're gonna stay at a campsite there tonight. We wild camped the last three nights. Three nights. Yeah, three nights. So um, <clears throat> yeah, that, that will be very nice. So far the drive has been awesome. We really like it. I think we did about um, 550 to uh, 600 kilometers of road from Merzuga all the way to Tissint and uh, we just arrived at the road again we're inflating our tires we have about an hour to drive to Tata and we will visit a formal campsite there we've been wild camping the past three days and our travel companion would like a proper shower <laughs> and I think we could do that one as well we really had a lot of fun um, driving from Marzuga to uh, to Tissint it's beautiful it's the longest off-road stretch we did so far in uh, in Morocco uh, and Ergshagaga we we just loved it that place is amazing the dunes are nice and the area is quite big much bigger than uh, Marzuga so uh, yeah that was a good first uh, off-road trip with our Spanish friend and um, Hopefully we'll have a lot of uh, a lot more great days together. That would be good. This campsite was uh, really nice because um, the showers were really really good, and uh, nice hot shower in here. In Morocco, you often have to hold it yourself, but this one it was hanging, it was warm, so that was really really great. Um, also, there was enough shade, and uh, most campsites in Morocco are not too expensive. This one was only. Uh, 60 dirham for a night without electricity so yeah it takes all the <laughs> the marks in our book it's uh, really good this is our way of um, filling water we just uh, leach from uh, anywhere basically <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, because we have the filter in the car, this one, um, it cleans uh, bacteria and most big particles. And most of the water here is okay, but uh, it tastes very, it tastes like chloride. But after it went through the filter, it's uh, perfectly fine. We've been drinking this for the last uh, two months. Yeah. Not sick yet, so <laughs> this is good. So let's see. And uh, today we're gonna drive an off-road track that in the end will bring us to Assa, but that's still quite uh, far away. Uh, I'll show you on the map what we're what we're planning to do. Uh, first, we have a bit of tar, and after that, 
um, our Spanish friend Rafael told us that we will drive through a dry river. Um, <clears throat> so the, the trick is a bit, hopefully it didn't rain too much in the last few weeks, because if that's the case, then uh, the track will be difficult. Um, yeah, but uh, we will we will find out. We first um, used this village to fuel up the car and we're gonna get some more cash out because uh, any place we go to, um, yeah, it's only cash from now on. Um, there won't be any card payments at um, fuel stations. So uh, we need a lot of cash for the fuel. And uh, we're gonna do a few small groceries um, just to stock up on a few things before we hit the next uh, village. So, yeah, looking forward. These tracks between Tata and Smara are just absolutely stunning. Wow, look at those dry riverbeds and they make their way through deep and narrow valleys and we find hidden villages and surprises around every corner. I think so far it's been one of the best parts of Morocco we explored. In one of the riverbeds we find this 
really nice campsites. Look at that awesome fire that we made. A very comfortable evening. We will talk to you tomorrow. Good morning. It's uh, five to nine. We're ready quite early. And uh, yeah, we're ready to drive another day. Wow, okay, we really hope you enjoyed the treks as much as we did. We have almost reached Assen. <laughs>